James's gift. It was a strange little group that walked into the into the Mets drawings and Prince Gal Gallery late afternoon to see the newly reunited Dior miniatures, escorted by a museum guard who had greeted them at a side entrance so that they could avoid the crowds. Carl James, with Marvin tucked securely under his jacket cuff, having sworn to Mama and Papa that he wouldn't budge from that position for the entire outing, and Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Pompity, pushing William in a stroller, waited for Christina at the front of the exhibit. Though she'd heard only the minimal details of the drawing's recovery, Mrs. Pompity could barely contain her pride over her son's involvement, even in what she imagined was an and killery fashion, she kept patting James's back importantly and looking around for reporters. I wonder if anyone will interview you, James. They certainly ought to. Of course, once this business with the museum is behind us, I expect you to go back to work on your own pictures. That's where the real opportunity is. 4,000 from the Mortons. Just think what other people will pay for your extraordinary drawings. Mr. Pompity, hammered in agreement. I've got a couple of partners at work who might be interested. Quite a way to build your college fund, James. Marvin winced, while James' freckled cheeks turned dark pink. I don't know if I'm going to keep drawing those little pictures, he said. They take a lot of time. What do you mean, his mother cried. They're marvelous. You can't stop, James. Why, that's your gift. I know, but I was thinking I could do bigger drawings. No, 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 his mother protested. It's their little size that make them so delightful. Marvin inwardly groaned. How would he and James ever stop this charade? He couldn't go on, on forging pictures. Just look at the trouble this has gotten them into already. Even if it had let, had it led to the return of the stolen drawings, Carl interrupted them. Maybe he wants to take a break from it for a while. All artists need that occasionally. Oh, I don't think so, Mrs. Pompity began. My friends, Christina cried happily, appearing in the doorway. After the necessary introductions, you have a remarkable son, she told Mrs. Pompity, who nodded. Smugly. Christina led them through the crush of visitors to the third room, where the Dior Virtue drawings were prominently displayed along the wall. Marvin clung to James's wrist and peered up, trying to see them better. Matted and framed, they were imposing despite their tiny size. <sighs> Seeing them together somehow made you look at each drawing more closely. Marvin thought, instinctively, comparing the four figures. Fortitude looked more determined and courageous, justice both sterner and sadder alongside his sisters. They were breathtaking. Nobody can draw like Dewar, Marvin thought. Not even me. He suddenly and purely hoped that he, he wouldn't have to copy any more drawings. He was tired of it. He wanted to make something of his own. I've noticed details I never saw before, Christina said excitedly. The line of Prudence's jaw, the way Justice's hand rests here. It's as if the drawings speak to one another. Carl smiled at her. They were meant to hang together, he said. You can tell. They certainly make a nice arrangement, Mrs. Pompady added, not to be outdone. James, you should consider doing a group of miniatures like this. It would be fetching, really. She turned to Christina. He has a gift, you know, she confided. Oh, I know, Christina said, smiling at James. He does have a gift, Marvin wanted to say. It's just not what you think it is. This exhibit is going to bring a new... Bring new attention to Dürer, Christina continued. I can feel it. Museum admissions today are at a record high already. We've had dozens of calls from the media. The return of the drawings is getting international news coverage. I think Dürer may finally get the interest he deserves. As the others continued to admire the drawings, James tugged her aside. What about Denny? He asked anxiously. Do the police know where he is? Christina shook her head. They're watching the airports in Germany. Nothing yet. Do you think they'll catch him? Christina pursed her lips. I don't know, James. I hope they don't, James said. I like Denny. I do too, Christina sighed. James watched soberly. Do you think he's mad at me, he asked. Oh, no, James. I don't think so, she answered firmly. I think that 
wherever he is, he must be relieved in a way. Even though things didn't turn out as he planned, at least it's over. She tilted her head, looking at the four miniatures. It's like when you tell a lie, and then you have to tell more lies because of it to cover it up. Have you ever done that? And even if it's horrible and embarrassing to be caught, it's also a relief at some level, you know? Because then you can stop doing this thing where you wish you'd never done it in the first place. James looked at her. Yeah, I know what you mean, he said finally. Marvin knew he was thinking about his own drawings. It, it was so complicated and exhausting to keep up the ruse of James's artistic genius. And when would it end? So, Christina continued, I think Denny is probably grateful for you. Or maybe he isn't right now, but he will be. Will we ever see him again? Christina paused. I don't know he, com he committed a serious crime. If he shows up here in the States, he'll be put in jail. And I know the FBI agents have been talking to the German police to see if they can get, um, get him to the other thefts. James bit his lip. I wish he didn't have to go to jail. I know, Christina said softly. Well, this is a very impressive exhibit, Miss Pompady interjected, coming to their side. But we've made reservations at a little French place on the Upper West Side. We really should be going. It was nice to meet you, Miss Balcony. And you, Christina said. Thank you for loaning me your wonderful son. Oh my, I was glad to have, for him to have lessons with you. It's been a very special opportunity for James. Christina smiled quizzically. I don't know. I don't think.